Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and today I have some Nightmare Before Christmas Jasmine Beckett Griffith Nightmare Before Christmas themed fairies. Um, I purchased these as a subscription plan through the Bradford Exchange online. I don't know if they still carry these or not. Um, if they don't and you like them, you can still get them off eBay. Um, and I don't think they retail much more on there, if at all more, than they originally did at the Bradford Exchange. But anyway, these were purchased through a subscription plan, or they would send me one every couple weeks or so as they became available. And so, uh, the first one in the subscription was this, or is, this really cute blonde-haired uh, fairy girl holding a jack doll. And she's got these little jack hair ties here, and you can see the backs of them and this purple bangs. She's got some striped socks on that looks very, you know, Tim Burton style type with the stripes. And then back here she's got these this webbing on her wings here which adds a little extra detail. This is not painted on. It's on like this kind of papery material that's been pressed on there. And then on the back her wings are just plain black no detailing on those, but they did give her some coattails, like, J like what Jack has in the movie, and some webbing on her dress. So very cute. So that was the first one in the series. And then the second one is this really cute uh, Sally fairy. And she's got her little Sally doll here, and she's got the quilt or uh, patchwork pattern on her dress just like Sally has and same kind of patchwork pat um, patchwork on her wings and she's got you know, the red hair like Sally's and she's got this uh, blue bangs as well blue accenting in her hair on the back yeah, you can see her nice long red hair I like the detail that they put into the hair they don't just make it one solid piece same thing with the Sally doll Put some lines in it, make it give it more texture and detail on it. Also with the striped socks. Issue number three is actually over here on this side. And it's um no wait a minute, I'm sorry. This is issue four. Issue three is the base. And it's this base, the one with the spiral hill. And it's got Jack's house there in the background, and you can see um, Dr. Finkelstein's house. And there's some detail on the hill there at the moon, and there's some bricks on the bottom there. And this fits about four fairies. You can fit about four fairies on, on, per base. And they're really heavy. They're solid resin. So they're very you know, strong and heavy. And then issue four is Oogie Boogie. And she's got a side ponytail with the, the pink bangs and she's got some dice on her wings with this green color that Oogie uh, under a black light shows in the show, in the movie. And I think her hair ties dice, that's cute. She's got some, something going on there. Got dice, but and he's his burlap color here, Oogie Boogie. And she also has some of these, yeah, this dice on her dress here. And she's got green striped socks. So, very cute. Issue number four, or five, I'm sorry, that was issue four. Issue five is this really cute uh, fairy girl holding Zero here and I love that they gave her ponytails to match his long ears. Now you have to be careful because these look like they'd be easy to break but um, I really like that, de that detail that they did that. I thought that was really cute. And then the red bangs here and she's got some pumpkins in her hair. Also striped socks and just different things uh, on the wings. Got the Sally looking pattern here and some jack-o'-lanterns to match Zero's nose on the outsides of her wings. 
And then the dress is also just kind of a patchworky looking dress here. But yeah, I think this is probably my favorite from the first five. Is this really cute one? I really like her. I think she's adorable. Number six is that one's seven. It's going to be lock, shock, and barrel in a row here. That one's this one. Okay, so lock is number six. And it, once again, super cute with the hair. Made it look like Locke's um, little tufts of hair up there. She's kind of got the same thing going on with hers. And she's got blue bangs. So a lot of these character er, fairies do have two-toned hair. It's not all one solid color. And then on her wings, she's got these little devil tails. Little swirly devil tails. The striped socks once again here. And she's got like a red dress here since uh, Locke wears all red. It's a very, oh, I didn't see this in the back. She's got a little ponytail in the back too. Cute. So very cute. Let's see, number seven is Shock. And they kind of gave this uh, fairy some wild type hair like Shock's got. It's all pointed and sticking out. And she's got a little witch hat on like Shock has. And here she is holding her Shock doll, striped socks. And her wings just kind of have some squiggles on it. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Black background and purple and green. And they kind of use the same color tones in her hair that's in Shock's. A lot of a little bit a little lighter in color. It's a lighter purple. And lighter blue. And she also has some striped socks on. Lots of points in the back. So I think this one probably has one of the more detailed hair. It's kind of got lots of things going on here. That one looks like maybe it chipped off and they painted over it. I don't know. It's cute. Number eight should be, you would think, Barrel, but I'm not sure that he is. He's number nine. Barrel's in the, oh, so number eight would have been the base. And I think it's this base, but let me double check. If it's this one over here. I can't remember what order the bases went in. Nope, it's not that one. So number eight is the base in the center. I don't know if it's there. With the lock, shock, and barrel treehouse, which kind of makes sense since that's those were the characters that were I just showed you. And uh, little uh, crisscross patterns of some lines there on the base. And um, I guess it's time for barrel number nine. So he, this is a blonde haired girl with some green in her hair. And she's got some bones on her wings. And she's holding barrel and she's got this skeleton rib thing going on on her dress. Got a cute little top ponytail. Also striped socks. Number 10 is, let's see who number 10 is. Ah, yes, Santa Claus. All right, and I like that they included Santa Claus. He's kind of a character that, since he's not Halloweenish and, and not one of the, he's one of the main like 10 characters. Uh, so, so he doesn't get included a lot. So I kind of like that they do include him in this set. And you've got a little blonde girl here with the green Christmassy looking Hair, hair tie here 
and she's got a cute little hat on holding Santa Claus and also the striped socks and her little Santa outfit and on her wing she's got some Christmas bulbs you put on your tree decorations there and yet she still looks whimsical and cute and, and still fits in with even the Halloween ones so very cute Let's set her over there number 11 is the mare and she's got her little mare hat on it's cute red hair and this is a spider like on his book or I, I'm sorry his bow tie his uh, chest piece like what he wears here and oh, he's got spiders on his wings there, on her wings there. So they're going with his little bow tie thing. And she also has, now she's got the most probably colorful socks, um, brighter colors there, yellow and orange. Um, she's kind of got a striped dress here. So cute. Number 12 is going to be one of these. This one is 15. Or it could be the other base. 14. It's going to be the base, I think. Yeah. 12. Nope, this is 12. So number 12 is this really cute girl with Mr. Hyde, who you re rarely see collectibles for. I'm surprised they went that far. There is no Dr. Finkelstein in this set. So I'm kind of surprised some of these characters um, kind of were included and not him but it is really cute uh she's got the same kind of hat he wears and curly hair like his curly hair here and she's got a little, cute little shawl on that matches his and this greenish i really like this like teal blue colored dress and she's got brown and black socks and back here she's got some chains like what he has in the movie he's holding one even and I actually think this one is my favorite of the bunch. I don't know why, it just, for some reason, I like the style of the girl with her curly hair and the hat. I like her outfit. Um, it's, I think it's the colors. I love the brown. And she's got gray tones in her hair here. And I love the green. It, it like turns green and then it fades into this teal blue. And so this one I just really, really like. Really like this one. And that one was number 12. Yes, 12. So number 13, I believe, is going to be the base. It's 14, and this one's 15. Okay, so the base right here is number 14. This one is the town hall. Also has um, bricking on the bottom there. Similar, actually it may even be the same as the uh, Spiral Hill bottom. Anyway, that's the town hall. And that's the base for the, the last four figurines. And then number five, uh, 14 is this one. And this is, <laughs> this one's cute. This one's a little clown. The clown with terrible face here, and she's got green and purple socks. This one's very colorful. Yellow hair, blue bangs, and she's holding this uh, clown figure. And she's got some very quirky looking wings here. Very kind of simple, just stripes. Stripes on her shirt. I mean, she's really made to look like the clown. Even has a little beanie hat. So it seems like the further along you got the more on these figures, the more dressed up like the characters they were. I mean, they all were kind of a little bit, but these are really starting to match almost to a T on them. And she's even got the polka dotted dress on. And so very cute. On the back, she just has a simple ponytail. And last but not least here 
is the Harlequin Demon. She's kind of got this brownish red hair. And this probably is the least contrasting on the hair because they're the bangs are a little bit lighter than the back and a little more pink. Striped socks. And she's got her little Harlequin Demon guy here. And he's got this little bitty piece that sticks out. So you got to be careful if you got one of these not to break that off. And she's got this Harlequin looking his ha uh, hair type up here. It's a hat. And his uh, body s texture on her wings. And this is just paper. It's, it's not, it looks kind of like it's textured, like this is layered, but it's not. It's all smooth here. So very cute. And you guys, I have to let me know how, what you thought about these little figurines. Um, they're pretty much just Nightmare Before Christmas themed. They're not characters from the movie. They're just fairies that are holding characters from the movies. Uh, some people like to collect that kind of stuff. Some people want it to be more movie realistic and collect things that represent the movies like WDCC or something like that. So you have to let me know if, what you thought about these. Do you think they were cute or would this be something you would like to have in your own collections? Or is this something that's just... I would rather have something more movie accurate. But yeah, super cute. And I and I collect all different kinds of things for the Nightmare Before Christmas. I do have some movie accurate items. And then I have cute little things like this that are not from the movie per se, but are themed that way. So here's a complete sweep of what I showed today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.